Don't look at me. I don't know what's going on. Problems? I don't know. It's all in the mind, Eric. It's all in the mind. What was the control I told you to build out of the bad Zoe? Well, nothing important. At least I don't think so. I don't know. Does it matter? Hey, what's all the whispering about? I wish I knew. Leo, did I ever tell you about my nose? Your nose? Yes, it's like a barometer. It never lets me down. Oh. I smell trouble. Can you pinpoint it? Hmm. It's something to do with that rocket out there. There's something sinister about it. Cyberman. Yes, the wheel in space, no less. When she said uh, she had something to tell him about her nose, I thought she was going to say she'd had plastic surgery. <laughs> oh dear. And of course, this was the first story to feature Wendy Padbury as the wonderful. Zoe Harriet, uh, mathematical genius or computer geek. Um, yes, she created quite a quite a stir in her first outing. I believe the doctor might be a little bit poorly, which is why he didn't feature so much in this episode. Uh, sadly, another one of our missing episodes, but episodes three and six do exist of this story. Um, it's interesting how the Cybermen are used quite a lot during this period. Uh, they were used at the opening of the season in the Tomb of the Cybermen, and they're again used here to close the season in this story. Um... Yes, and I, again, it's a sort of a feel of that base under siege story. And it looks as though the Cybermen are going to infiltrate and uh, take over the wheel. Mm, yeah, real sense of space there and yeah, of sinister goings on. And I, I quite like that sort of hum that is associated with when we see the Cybermen. It's a very sort of sinister, unnerving uh, rhythm or pulse, isn't it? And I think it's very effective. I'm sure it would have given the odd kid or two nightmares. Hmm... Yeah, great, great end to the monster season. Mm, the wheel in space. <laughs> 